to nullify that the federal government's doing right now, what is it? Yeah, I'll, I'll, start, oh, I'll start first by saying uh, I definitely think that the federal state balance uh, is totally out of whack and totally untenable. The lack of a constitutional procedure or institutional mechanism for states to influence federal policy is a huge problem. And I think that an, institution, an institutional problem requires an institutional solution. And I think that we need to have a long term view. Uh, and strategy of getting some sort of constitutional amendment passed that uh, that enables states to have a role. Uh, an example of this, Randy Barnett has proposed uh, amendments where uh, uh, federal legislation can be nullified in the proper sense uh, by a two-thirds vote of the state legislatures. Uh, something along those lines, I think, is a good is a good idea. Um, as for nullification currently, I think that there's there's different People mean different things by the term nullification. There's anti-commandeering statutes, which says that the federal government, the federal laws will not get the support uh, and, and, and will not be enforced by the state uh, officials. Uh, I, I support a lot of those efforts. Um, as for as for nullification proper, where you're, you're alleging uh, that the laws don't actually apply, that's I mean that's not really very effective. It, 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 it's sort of a uh, it, you know, unless the federal government know you don't like it, but it doesn't has no legal effect. As for the legalization of, of the marijuana issue, that's also not quite nullification either. It's, it's saying as a matter of state law, it's legal, but it doesn't have any effect on federal law. But it does have an influence over what uh, federal representatives are willing to do. Um, so, so again, I, I, my my view is we need to invest in in something that is going to be there for the long term, an institutional way or state government affect federal policy. And I think that it's not just these civil liberties issues, it's, it's that our entire budget is, is so messed up by our dependence on federal grants. A, it, you know, some, some states, the, the amount of the, the state budget approaches half funded by the federal government, and those come with strings. You can't just take the money and spend it in a more efficient manner or give it back to, to the taxpayers. You're just kind of stuck. So. Uh, I, I definitely think that you know nullification sounds great, but there's no real way to do it right now. So we need to work on that. Next question. Yes. I've got one. Yes. Hello. Uh, me. Oh, her. Okay. Yes. 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 Oh no. I, are you talking to me? Yes. You. Oh, okay. Yes. Yes. Hello. Yes. Hello. yes. The real uh, nullification fits exactly into this question, but the real question for me is. Uh, we are going to have to replace it. I, I don't want any taxes here at all. But we can here. I mean, zero. There's no reason to support it. How I, except for things that we all need, and we so we will still so we will still need revenue if we are able to nullify the EPA's influence over our inability to use our own land any way we want to, or nullify whatever. Whatever else, drill, baby, drill. We've got oil, we have resources. These are Virginias. We we could increase our revenues here tremendously. And you would attract other people, not just, I mean, other businesses, other people moving into your state. It might get too crowded for me, but I, I wouldn't mind having the challenge. So what kind of ideas do you all have about revenue? Other revenue. revenue that, is, wait, is your question hot? In regards to revenue, what? yes, it is. Just, just there must be other ways to re to increase the revenue to the state without taxing people directly or without confiscating their property when they do with fines or tickets or whatever new um, ability that they give themselves. I have a question along the same line. Oh, all right, let's 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 handle this one first. Who has oh, okay. Yes. okay. Well, I mean, first, the first, you know, the 2013-2014 Virginia State budget is 349 pages long. Okay, so before we talk about, you know, I am all for repealing the income tax. I mean, solidly for it. I hate all taxes. Yeah. <laughs> I see getting rid of the income tax is the most efficient way that we could bring business, yeah. which is new jobs, into this state. Um, but yeah, I mean, anytime you talk about getting rid of taxes, you absolutely have to deal with spending. And I mean, it's a heck of a job, but 349 pages is a lot of 
pages, line by line, people. I'll take, what, a fifth of them? <laughs> <laughs> you know, we can get rid of some of this stuff. You know, the, the biggest thing that I look at is, you know, um, gosh, it's the office of the lieutenant governor uh, is appropriated like $32 million for personnel. Oh, for personnel. Oh, okay. Oh, you know, my